<coughs> we are lucky enough to have with us Linda Burney, first Aboriginal person elected to the New South Wales Parliament, currently Deputy Leader of the Opposition. Linda. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, obviously, we gather on a very special country, um, and this site has a very uh, important story in the whole story of the nation. To Gordon and Elaine um, and to Paul, uh, whose book is sitting there, he tells me I might want to read it. I, he said, um, I said, my life's out of control at the moment. He said, perhaps you should read my book. <laughs> So, so uh, thank you, Paul, and the other... Paul Gordon? Is Paul Gordon here? Okay. Uh, look, I, I won't uh, say too much except to say uh, the, we, you've just had heard two extraordinarily fine speeches um, um, from Jeff and Ray, and I don't think there is anything more that I, that I can add except to say that, uh, you know, that, that analogy of... Uh, the bus or the ambulance over the cliff is a real one. I mean, you know, the, the New South Wales government, uh, big achievement this week is the announcement of two new prisons in New South Wales. And we know what uh, that means for our people. Uh, but on a very positive note, uh, I accepted the invitation to be a special guest today uh, because... Uh, uh, this man's work greets me every morning. The first thing I see when I uh, walk out of my bedroom is a beautiful large canvas uh, that Gordon uh, gave me when my husband passed away. And it says, uh, to, Rick, uh, uh, to where the wildflowers bloom, um, Rick, for Rick Farley. And then, of course, uh, in my office at Parliament House, I have the most beautiful office of the whole place, which wouldn't surprise you, and it's not hard, but um, only because of a couple of things. Uh, firstly, a very, uh, yet another large canvas of Gordon uh, behind my desk, which was in my ministerial office uh, out the front, and also a beautiful uh, picture similar to this one of, uh, of an emu head. And those three paintings are extremely special to me, and I see them all, every day, several times a day. Uh, so uh, Gordon's work features large in my life um, and tells some beautiful stories. It's wonderful to be here, and thank you, Elaine, for uh, sending me the invitation. Uh, it was the hardest bloody art exhibition I've ever had to find, but anyway, we found it. Um, I can't stay very long, but I'm just so thrilled to be here in the company of you all. Um, in an extraordinary place full of extraordinary truth telling. So thank you very much.